Hey, this is Marie Twisted Bee Minis. I hope that you guys have had a great week. We have had a pretty good week. We did have a little bit of tragedy. Um, I'll tell you about that later in the video. Um, but all in all, we had a pretty good week. I hope you all had a wonderful week and come along with us and check this out. Hey, this is Marie and Phoebe. We are headed to Tractor Supply to test out their, their what is it, their pet grooming station or their washing Their doggy station. wash. Doggy wash. Yep. So we're going to see if it works with Trigger. But we're not bringing a dog. <laughs> yeah. We're bringing a dwarf pony. Yes. A dwarf miniature horse. About the size of a dog. Yeah, smaller than our dogs. Yeah. <laughs> well, about the same size as, as our livestock guardian dogs. Yeah. So I'd say they're similar. They are, except Trigger got a lot wider. Yeah, Trigger's fat. He's wider. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll, we'll have to take him in there and see if it'll even work. <laughs> I don't know because I think it will. I don't know, but now that you say the fat, how fat he is, I wonder if he's I didn't too say fat. fat. I said he was wide. I wonder if he is too wide <laughs> for the doggy washing station. So mm. if not, he's gonna have to just be spot cleaned for the parade. Yeah. Well, no, we're gonna take we him, in the, him in the shower. We're we gonna can... pick him up and bring him in the house and put him in the shower. Okay. Just yeah. however dirty the whole <laughs> bathroom <laughs> didn't sound fun <laughs> for ten dollars we're like uh, dirty up someone else's bathroom <laughs> yeah let's go to tractors fly <laughs> they got stainless steel and a spray hose yeah so yeah that sounds good well we'll see how it goes <laughs> All right, we got Trigger all cleaned up and he needs a new halter and some treats. So let's go check him out. I wonder, I wonder if he'll pick them. I think he'll pick treats. I wonder if it'll be the Nay Nibblers. Those are my pick. Huh. Get him a halter. Mm. Oh, here's halters. This one? Yep. What do you think, Trigger? This one? Do you like that one? Teal? You like that? He said, let's go find the treats. Ooh. They're up high. Huh? That might be the treats that he needs. Yeah, low sugar snack. Apple, that might be what you need. Cause you're getting a, you're getting a little thick and chunky. You like that? You want that one? Let's see if he wants that one. I always go for nay nibblers. I just like the crunch. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I take it it's the nay nibblers. <laughs> He said, don't give me the healthy stuff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's so funny. Hello. Um, I love black licorice. So I'm always getting a good black licorice. <laughs> black licorice. Hmm. Hey. Um, so we cleaned up, but <laughs> yeah. This is Poquette eating her formula mixed with baby food, and she's adorable. Because yeah. she keeps tearing up her bottles? Yes, because she's gotten to the point where she keeps on ripping the nipples off the bottles. So this is working pretty well. I have it really thin. She's probably going to come after me for it. Oh, no, she's being a good girl. Right, she'd be like, no, not me. 
this with me when I'm eating. Pokey was really food aggressive. Yeah. She is so much sweeter than he was. I think because of, she's a female? I don't know. Or the breed. Huh. This is supposed to be... The, the two types of porcupines we have are supposed to be the two friendliest types of porcupine. She's a cape porcupine. And then we have the prehensile tail porcupine. She looks just like him, though. She does, except for right here. Um, he had bigger white spots. Oh, okay. Right down here. Oh, no. She says no. Oh, she's fine. <laughs> Her little whiskers. She is so sweet. And she likes to snuggle, too. And play. Mm-hmm. She always wants me to play with her when I walk past the tank. She is so funny. She's like, ooh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh! Ooh, ooh. I can hear them shaking. I know you're. This is how I desensitize them. It's just like I'm not messing with her food, I'm not actually getting in her food. Nothing's happening. Yeah, she's adorable. Now, why are these so much longer than the rest? <clears throat> um, I'd have to look it up and see. Okay. But certain ones are for certain things. Like some are for defense. I think these ones are to let them know how deep they can go. Like in a burrow without mm. getting stuck. Because like these aren't, these ones aren't. Kind of like cat whiskers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's so sweet. Here is Clyde eating a banana from Walmart. <laughs> In the wild. It is Look his at favorite. Him hold it. He loves it. He ate that banana really he fast. He loves bananas and peanuts is his favorite. He's a hot mess. He's so neat. These, they're so sweet. What does your nose feel like? Um... It's like soft and squishy. I don't know. Like a peach almost. I'm scared. Okay. I don't think I... You can do it. Ah, stop it. <laughs> okay, but you won't do it again. You won't do it again, right? I won't, I won't do it, I promise. <gasps> I mean... <laughs> oh my gosh. You do. Okay. Sierra, you won't do it. I'm scared. Oh, oh please don't get your finger. <laughs> We're not paying attention. <laughs> you need to unwrap it. Here. He's like, you unwrap it for Be careful, Marie. Human. Oh, he's... Have you got... <laughs> he might mistake it for food. It smells like, <laughs> like banana. No, he wants it unwrapped. But he won't let go of it. There we go. One thing that I just wanted to mention, if you're trying to get your significant other or kids into hunting, um, one thing I've noticed, it's hard to hold still or be quiet, but uh, the antler shed is really nice. That would be awesome for getting people into hunting, and it, it stays nice and warm in there too. So, comfortable hunting. Birdo keeps on whooping on Rico Suave. So we're thinking that he'll be able to see now. What's and, up with his face? And add a little flare. What do you mean? This? Yeah. That's his comb. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. He's so handsome. I was like, he got beat up bad. But yeah, oh, I see his eyes now. Yeah, now you can see his eyes. Yeah. Oh, hmm. wow. His oh. comb was so weird. It was like a brain on his face. He is the grand champion of Murray County. Silky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's... That keeps on getting his butt whooped. Oh. 
by Bruno. Oh, yeah, he got him good right there. You see Where? It? Oh, no, did he get him yeah, right? Yeah, he got no, him right. That's, oh, that's his mouth. That's his thingy. Okay. Right his here. waddle thing. His face just looks different. No, that's his ear. Different. And he's uh, molting. Like, these are his new feathers coming mm. in. And they have, like, these little shell things. Oh, I see them. Yeah. Buddy. Oh, the goat's like, yep, you got food. <laughs> here. Hey! I know. Come here. Here. Oh, I know. Here we go. <laughs> He's, she's so cute. I'm going to feed this one snacks every day so it loves me. Other ones scare me. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> the doggy breast smells. Mm -hmm. They want treats too. They're waiting patiently. Snoopy's like, I don't know about this. Mm -mm. Oh, she wants you to give her lovin's. King of the mountain again. Are you being ornery? She's like, these coveralls feel funny. Are you being ornery too? Oh, you are being ornery. I wonder where they got it from. Oh, not Brandon. Brandon's not on me. He's a sweet baby. He's the sweetest baby, isn't he? He is. That's where they got it from. That's sweet. You can tell they know I'm fixing to go to the grain trailer. They're like, oh, she's going to give us snacks. And they'll sit over there. I don't know if you guys can see them like wagging their little tails, bobbing their little heads. It's so cute. It's raining, but we had to stop and watch the cutest puddle bath. This is um, the duck with the uh, baseballs. She's out getting a bath in the rain. Are you getting so clean? Is it a duck duck shower? Is it the best ducky shower or bath? Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. You're so beautiful. You are getting yourself so nice and clean. He's in here editing with us and he has these little sweet snacks all the time. Snacks. I will literally have to go stop so I can go get him kale. Oh no, look at him. So precious. That's not what I expected. <laughs> oh my goodness.
You guys are a mess. I don't have any snacks. What are you doing, Peggy? You guys are so silly. Ooh. Oh, he got it. Stole it. Oh my goodness. It's like they're tattling. Cinnamon, you're a mess. What are you doing? Are you examining? You seeing if there's any snacks? It's just iris and dirt. You say it's breakfast time. Hello, Dolly. <laughs> that baby's getting mad. He wants you to stop. He wants a snack. Cinnamon, you want treats? <laughs> Y'all are a bunch of bums. You say it's breakfast time. Is it breakfast time? Let's go get some breakfast. Huh. Huh. <laughs> you need some breakfast? Do you need some? I need some. We all need our breakfast. <laughs> you all are hot messes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the babies are playing. Oh. They're so precious. I went to go put my coveralls on and everyone left. They're like, we're not getting breakfast except for you guys. Huh? Say, I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. You guys are so sweet. So a tomcat came in the other day and got calico hen and two of her babies. That is sad. But these guys are still here. We got a trap set right over there on that table. So hopefully we can get him caught before he gets anybody else. I knew something was wrong when she didn't come back for her second. I didn't see her for a second breakfast. So it was bad. And then I went and saw where she normally hang, hangs out and found one of her chicks and uh, could smell tomcat pee. So, and we don't, we don't have neighbors close or, so unfortunately a stray cat came and got her and two of her babies. It's really sad. Hello little one. Guys, ready for some breakfast? Mm. The ones in the back are like, "Well, you drop some, so where's the walk I'm at?" Mm. You're so cute. You can get some out of there.
You guys are precious. Hello, Belle. Hello, sweetheart. Do you want some tension? How are you this morning? Hello. You are the sweetest girl. Yes, you are. No cinnamon, no cinnamon. This is not for cinnamon. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Hey, so um, this has turned into one of my morning routines. Or actually afternoon routines, but it just happens to be the morning. Is on this hill, I have iris planted that just doesn't like it very well. And it, it in general, has not worked out well here. Um, it doesn't grow as well. Um, it's harder to harvest. It's harder to keep the weeds off of because we try to use the animals um, to help with the weed pressure. And honestly, nobody likes going up this hill. And uh, except for we have some of the Cooney Coon piglets that are coming up here. And I think it's because there's just not as many options since we're in the winter and they're coming up here and they're rooting it up but they're rooting it up and getting the johnson grass rhizomes that's what they're after so they really don't hurt the iris other than just root it kind of out of the ground which you know it if i wanted this iris to be here i would just put hot wire or fencing around it but I want to move it, so I'm going to go ahead and just pick them up every day, and then I just move them along, and then I go replant them. But yeah, that's what they're after. It's like um, there's easy access Snickers down there throughout the pasture, and then these are like a harder access Snickers. Well, the easy access Snickers are gone, so now they're going to come work on the hill that they don't normally work on but it works out in my favor because I don't have to dig them up and uh, also they don't grow as big up here like this is not a happy iris so I've been needing to move them I don't know if anybody thinks that's interesting but that's one of the random things I do in a day. Oh, and another thing that I've learned is don't plant plants on the highest point any kind of hill because your livestock guardian dog is going to come fluff it up and uh, smother your plants. But, huh. Huh, so I'm going to smother all the plants and fluff them up. But I's a good girl and I's pretty. Hmm. She was about to put her foot in a rope and climb up. Be careful. How are you going to get down? That's my question. I don't think I have enough upper body strength anymore to pull myself up. Oh. Um, I don't think you have the right shoes on for that. Oh, Marie got up. Look at her go. Oh, God. Marie. I am gonna make it. Okay. Just how are you gonna get down? She doesn't think through stuff, but she's the fun one.
I wanted to say thank you for coming along with us this week. Um, it was a pretty good week. Like I said, it was really sad that we lost Calico Hen and two of her babies this week. I have added my favorite clip of her right here. And I wanted to say thank you again for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And also leave me a comment. Let me know you're there. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.